Hello guys, this is Lion75Y, thanks for watching this video. Um, I'm going to show you guys how to install the new update for Sprint Touch Pro 2 that came out on the 19th of this month. Right here is the Touch Pro, it's from Sprint. Well, as you can see, um, there are a couple ways that you can download this software, I mean the new update. You guys can go to the actual Sprint, Sprint.com, then go to Support. And once you go to the support page, you guys have to go use scroll down a little bit where you guys see all the devices. And then right here you select HTC. And then as you can see, the first one that you can see is the HTC Touch Pro 2. Just click on it. Then as you can see, it tells you everything about the phone and right here below what it says what you can do with it there is on the bottom that says alert fixes and downloads and there is something that says a software update is available for your service I mean for your device sorry and then just click see what's included and then you guys should be able to see a web page showing you the link that you can go and download the the update as you can see there are a couple updates and fixes that Spring have provided to us if you go all the way to the bottom you guys will see something that says to update this software go to the HTC Pro to download site and then it will tell you the step by step options and all this stuff so you just click right there and it brings up the actual HTC web page with the HTC Touch Pro for Sprint and then as you can see the first one that it shows for here is the Sprint Touch Pro 2 MR the release date is 3-19-2010 just click more if you want to know more information about it uh, for new people that you just got this device like a couple months ago I'll say like this month uh, I, will pro I will say uh, follow these instructions so you can double check because uh, sometimes you guys have the actual uh, new update included with it but I mean if it's not in there you guys use, can just go ahead and download it so you just click download and it's gonna tell you to save it or just run it the best thing for you guys to do I'll say is save it so you just click save and then you right here you guys can save whatever you guys like it so you save it and click until if finalize the downloading it right now I already have the file on my computer so I'm not gonna download it anymore so I'm just gonna click cancel right now the other way to go right real quick is just go to your actual htc.com so that's the actual main web page so once you guys get to this web page well I'm showing the second option though so then right here you guys go to support Then right here there is an option that says select a device. So you will click right here and then as you can see there is a HTC Touch Pro for Sprint. And then click right here on this play button or whatever you guys call it. Um, normally I will say it should like green but just click on it and it should still go through. And I still we go to the actual, oops sorry I went to the Touch Pro and I Touch Pro 2. Touch Pro 2 for spread. There you go. Sorry about that, guys. And as you guys can see, uh, there is the same web page that the Spring got provided to us before. That's the first part that I showed it to you. And the same thing, though, you just right here, you just click Downloads. And there's the same thing showing the update and everything so you guys can download it. And then depends on your internet speed it might take up to I don't know 15 minutes or so once you guys got the file on your desktop or whatever you guys save it it should look something like this so what we're gonna do right now is 
Uh, first of all, well, on our phone, I already got it connected though. Uh, but basically, use use your synchronization cable or your USB cable. Plug it in, and it's gonna ask you for three options. Just click the Activate Sync, and click Down. As you can see, it should show this this like synchronization bars. And if it doesn't show that, it's because you don't got the Windows Mobile Device Center, which is this problem that came up automatically. If you guys don't get this, look in your CD that came to when you bought your phone. Or if you cannot find that CD, just go to the actual Microsoft.com. And I'll show you real quick about that. Just Microsoft.com, this is the actual web page. And then as you guys can see right here, it says Windows. So you just go Windows and then there's an option that says Windows Phone. So you just click right there. So it comes up the actual Windows Phone homepage. And then you just go where it says Downloads. And then the first option that says Activate Sync and Windows Mobile Device Center. You guys will want to download that and install it before you start doing all your installation update for Spring and all the stuff. So once you guys got all the installation, you guys can go ahead and plug your USB cable and it will recognize it. So once you guys got all that done, like I said, we already got my file and everything up here. So we're just going to open it. And you know, since it's like Windows 7 or Vista, it will ask you for this pop up saying that you want to confirm that. So you just press yes. And here we go. This installation wizard, which is really simple and easy, it's really friendly. Just click next. And remember that your device should be connected okay. hmm? alright guys once you guys click next on everything it should come up this window with your kind of like a picture of your phone already and you just click I understand and then you just click next uh, a really good thing to remind everyone is close all your applications before you guys start doing this. The reason that I, I tell you guys this is because if there is an application running or anything like that, you might break your phone or you will not fully install your your update on your phone and it might cause you know to damage your phone. So that's just an advice for you guys. And then you guys click I completed the steps above and you just click next. It should verify your data again, and then it tells you your image version that is in your phone right now. And then just click update. As you guys can see, it tells me the image version that is on my phone. And that's the new version. So just click next, and then next again. And as you guys can see, when you guys see this bar loading. My phone will shut down and it will show this screen that looks kind of crazy, kind of like scary, but not really. So you just leave it like that. Using a couple seconds, it will start the bar on my phone showing the same thing as on the computer. And there you go, guys. When you guys see this bar, it's kind of the same. That's how your phone will look like though, just with a bar with the percentage, which is the same percentage that is on your computer. So once it's finished, you just click finish and then your phone should restart by itself. And then you, you guys have to program everything like calibrate and all the stuff. And then no reminder, everything that you have in your phone, like contacts and everything will be deleted. So make sure you save them more back pack them up in somewhere all right guys all right thanks for watching this video again this is lion 75y thank you bye bye